Well, we're now on step three. You do not come to class for this. You can if we're aboard, but this is just a check for you to discover something. Now, you've, you've taken your time. You've done good 25 times singing along with the song, or yelling, or whispering, or rapping. Um, I think music and singing, to some degree, is best, but it needs to be out loud. All right. Now, step number three. We're going to fill in the blanks. So it says here, puff the blank blank. What's that? Puff the, yep, magic dragon. Live by the sea. Yes. And frolicked in the autumn mist. What's the, what's your native word for mist? Is that kind of like rain or a fog or a cloud that's on the ground? Okay. In a blank called Hanali. What? In a land. Yes. All right, little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him, what, strings and sealing wax. What is sealing wax? Okay, now remember I said that do not say words without meaning. Now, you do not have to know every word. And some things lose their meaning over time and you really don't need it for the song. So anyway, this was just stuff that Jackie Paper brought to puff to play with. As you know, children, anything in children's hands become marvelous toys for adventure. Uh, sealing wax, I suggest you look it up, but if your mom or your grandmother likes to can jelly, she could probably tell you what that is. All right, so we go through and you are going to be surprised how many words you already know. And it's not individual words. You are recognizing patterns, um, phrases, Things make sense when they're a whole, not individual pieces. The puzzle pieces do not make sense, but you recognize a complete flower, a complete boat or car in those puzzles. And it's the same way with song and language. You're developing patterns inside your brain that are recognizable. This is what we're trying to achieve. You do not have to have that left brain system of understanding the rationale and the logical relationships of this word in this tense in this person. No. Jun <laughs> chunks, groups of words, and they create a picture in your mind or a feeling or an idea. And that's the way we remember them. So you're doing fine. Do not expect at the end of one song to be able to speak English. But over time, you're going to find that you effortless effortlessly can connect with phrases and then the phrases can come out. Uh, you may or may not get the phrases in perfect English, but your English is going to become fluent and feel comfortable to share ideas. All right, so we're already not memorizing words, we are memorizing phrases and sentences without even trying. Next step is going to be step four, okay? So um, I'll come right back, I'll give you another Let's see, what else can we talk about? Oh, um, I know. Be patient with yourself. Grace and extending grace to others and being patient with others. Grace means a gift um, that's undeserved. Uh, you're, you're kind and you're gentle with other people and you're patient with people. Learn how to do that for yourself. This can be an enjoyable thing. Language is something that's part of who we are. We want to connect with other people. And you are perfectly created to communicate with me in English. We just have to be patient with ourselves and continue the process. So many people want to, if I can learn one word today, if I can learn two words tomorrow, if I can more and more and more. Well, not too many people can speak like a dictionary or a phone book or a um, encyclopedia. No. I want someone that can share feelings and ideas, not a computer. Take your time, feel a lot, and express what touches you. It'll come. Don't worry about it. It always does. The harder you try, the more problems you're going to have. It will come. Enjoy music. Let music reach in there 
and help you get your English out. Hey, it works every time. Honest. Promise. Promise. All right. Next one is going to be step four. Four.